Probably the most powerful playback tool in SmartScore is the Properties tool. It's activated by clicking on the button with an arrow in the far left of the lower toolbar, or by hitting the Escape key. When the Properties tool is active, clicking on most any notation object will reveal its playback characteristics and allow you to edit that particular symbol. Here's a typical hymn with uh, pickup and closeout measures at the beginning and end of each system that cause playback to hesitate. We could never really figure out why that particular convention caught on. With the Properties tool active, click on the bar line that begins the pickup or closeout measure. And in the bar line properties dialog, select as written. Then push OK. To ignore all pickup and closeout measures in the score, go to the playback menu and check play as written. Bar line constraints will be ignored throughout the entire score. Did you know you can split two note clusters into their individual voices? Use the selector tool, the O key, to highlight a range of clusters and hit the H key. Each voice is now independent and can be assigned a separate instrument sound and even extracted from the document. We have a separate video called Extracting Parts that goes into more detail. Tempo markings such as Andante and Presto are automatically recognized and a default tempo is then applied to the score. To change the tempo for these markings, click with the Properties tool to open its playback properties. You can change the tempo of that particular mark with this slider. By default, all similar objects in the document will acquire that change of tempo. You can also apply that change to all future incidents of that symbol and, of course, remove changes by resetting defaults. Playback properties of notes include attributes associated with individual notes, such as accents, fermatas, and staccatos. Again, they can be applied individually or throughout the document or globally to all future documents. Here we'll change the playback properties for slurs, or legatos. And here for trill permutations. When the Properties tool is activated, you will notice a small yellow triangle to the left of each staff line. Clicking into the triangle opens the Staff Properties dialog box. There's a lot here. You can hide staff lines from the score or optimize. You can change the staff type from notation to percussion or to guitar or ukulele tablature, unify line spacing, and even set the number of measures per system for that part. All subsequent parts or all parts in the score. Bar line properties include both playback and display functions. Here we'll split the system into two fragments. This is used most often when creating coda endings. Another powerful set of tools is contained in the score properties menu. Score properties can be accessed either from the Edit menu or by right-clicking inside any staff line 
when the Properties tool is activated. You can unify line and staff spacing throughout the score based on the current active staff line, open staff spacing, as we've already seen, reassign bracketing for systems, also relink parts to a common system if systems were broken during recognition. We encourage you to explore these powerful features in SmartScore.